Gyms are back open across our state, which leads to the question, what's the safest way for you to get back into your fitness routine? Here's Sierra Lucas for Health Matters with some answers. As gym goers head to their favorite fitness centers once again, it's a question of safety, keeping yourself and others safe, and if wearing one of these will do you any good. For you, the person who's working out, and it's going to hinder you more than help you. After working out on reopening plans, the shutdown on some gyms has been lifted. But some people are still concerned if it's safe to go back and wonder if they need to wear a mask. Sports medicine doctor Rand McLean says it likely won't be helpful. Are they going to do any good for you? Probably not, because from what we read in the studies, the cotton mask that everyone's recommending you make at home or the equivalent of a bandana isn't going to block much for you, the wearer of the mask, maybe 20% of the particles floating around. And working out with your face covered could be harmful too. The increase in CO2 in the bloodstream, the decrease in oxygen in the bloodstream has been shown to be harmful if it's there for too long. They've used surgeons in OR wearing the standard surgical mask to show that after about an hour, you're going to raise that carbon dioxide level, lower your oxygen level, and that's not good for the brain. Dr. Rand says your best bet to avoid infection is staying apart from others that are breathing heavily during their sweat session. But what about going out for a run in the park? There's been great debate over whether runners should mask up when they lace up for a jog. If you're out running and you pass by someone in the park, for example, who might be infected, the chances of your being inoculated by enough virus to make you sick are really, really slim. In addition to new gym safety protocols, there are other risks people should consider when getting back to their fitness routine. Avoid overtraining. That could lead to weakening your immune system in an attempt to lose the quarantine 15. Even if you've been working out very hard at home, you might not have been working out the same way like you would on that particular piece of equipment. So don't jump right back in and try to go for your personal best. Um, ramp up slowly. For Health Matters, I'm Sierra Lucas. Hi, Bob Kendrick along with Station uh, Ken. Thanks for checking out the WSYX ABC6 YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more Central Ohio news, click on the right to subscribe to our channel and download the WSYX ABC6 app for breaking news alerts. And we'll see you on ABC6 News at 5, 6, and 11. Thanks for watching.